Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day and week and month and everything. I'm just going to go through a little bit of maintenance here, just making sure that we have everything. Um, all right, so we currently have 476 pounds. We have one, two, three, four yards currently available. Um, I think I remember doing this one already. This one, yeah. And then there's the one with the little pond. And this is the old nook. So we will um we will knock that one out. Take the eco mower and all that good stuff. So now that we're set up on that one, we are going to put the newbie. Yes, and yes, on this one. So that way we can just, we can make some money, upgrade, get better equipment, and the whole nine, yeah. Um, small update before we fully get into the game. For anyone wondering, no, we will not be able to do the soap stream um, as soon as I thought, the day will be figured out soon, but unfortunately due to Ophelia, we are in a bit of a pinch, um, due to part of the ingredients needing to be prepared outside, and I don't have a closed-in garage where I can do things, so... It's just, I just do it, like, on our carport, where we park our cars. Um, so, that's the unfortunate news for that, but it will still be happening, just not as soon as I had originally hoped. So, let's get this down here. We're gonna go ahead and pull you all the way out. So you're gonna turn you, jump off. There we go. All right. Um. Whoa. Oh, there's a. There's the uh, air balloon up there. Hot air balloon. Never noticed that. Okay. So we have the string trimmer. We are going to look see if there is anything left out for a bonus i doubt there is but it never hurts to check all right we're just gonna do a little round the outside and we will be hopefully finishing spongebob soon um i just have not really um patent down when that's gonna happen there's still a lot to do in the game so i'm not 150 percent sure when that will happen but it will be very soon and then we might uh we might go and start playing the second south park game because we did fracture butthole and we do have the second one the name of it is escaping my mind right now though or no we did stick of truth fractured butthole is the second one yeah and we will work on playing that one soon too most likely i did pick up some other games that we will be Hopefully playing every now and then. Um, I do plan to try to consistently stream around 8 o'clock, 7, 8-ish every night that I can, which is probably going to be like Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, unless I have work at my second job. Only then I might not be able to stream.
But anyone is, everyone is more than welcome to come join and just hang out and enjoy the vibes. We can chit chat, spill the tea, whatever it needs to be. Okay. There we go. Is that wide enough? We're gonna expand out front part right here just knock it out a little bit more and i might bring back um like rating animes it's been it's been a hot minute since i've rated it or talked about any anime really um partially because i haven't had a whole lot of opportunity to just sit and watch um I've been reading it mostly, but that's, you know, it's, it's something for a different time, ultimately. So we don't get fines for, like, cutting these down. So I don't know if that's, we're meant to cut that down or not, but I've just been doing it. go get this side we also if uh, anyone remembers we have more monster prom we do have the other two games that i do plan to um go through and finish playing well actually play i have i finished the first one we didn't go through each and every scenario and all that good stuff um because it was just kind of rinse and repeat uh, I did play it a couple more times just to see if there was any difference between everything. And um, for the most part, it was just like whoever you ended up with. It wasn't really so much as like how you played the game, which was kind of a little bit of a buzzkill. It was, it was a really fun game, but we do have um, Monster Prom Camp. Or Monster Camp, whatever you want to call it. And we have Monster Prom Road Trip, which is the third one. So we have the second and third one. We don't have the DLCs for them, but we do have all three. So we will uh, we will go through and play those and you know, just have a good time with it. Maybe have some laughs and some good time. I feel like once, uh, once we get a good stable running here and we end up cutting some places that we haven't cut yet because we've already um cut this place i think once or twice before and we've cut that because it's the same property it's just different um different parts of the property there's nothing over here is there there's nothing for me to find to give back to them okay so let me see what cut height and yeah, we are looking at a seven to an eight okay we are set at a 10 7.5 engage the blades we're gonna go in first person i know we're overloading we're not uh we're not trying to cut for a All right, that second. We are going to try to knock this out decently well. The little trim on the uh, the edges helped. It was mostly for the trouble areas, like the trees and the barn and all that stuff, where it's going to be a little bit harder to properly cut. So we're just going to do a pass around the outside to knock that out. Give us some cushion, and then we're gonna we'll work on the trouble areas, per se, which is gonna be the trees. Simply because of the roots and and like there's typically more of a hill and an apex up at the top of those. 
that can be troublesome. Right. Almost done with the outside pass. Try not to get any collision fees. I think we just might have had a slight collision there, but it's okay. Yeah. We're just going to do a extra pass around this. Since we're already basically done with this little spot. There you go. All right, let's kind of speed on over here. So the trees do end up giving us problems because they're they're like hilly because they have the root system and everything that raise the ground around them. I don't know if you can see, but there are like hills around them. And we're just gonna go through and knock all this down, make it as easy for us as possible. The grass is typically a little bit thicker around them also, which does not help. Okay, do a wide turn. And just headed straight back down. There you go. We're almost half full also already, so... Can tell that this this grass is definitely very tall and very thick. There we go. Go ahead and knock out that little little bit right there. I'm gonna speed on over because we're only taking a small slice, but even that small slice was definitely digging into our um bogging down our lawnmower here. here we go let's hit around this corner here we go now we're going to start encroaching more on where the trees are for a better and cleaner cut Okay, we can start moving away from that first tree. Still such a nice lawn here. This is... Game audio is pretty low. Let me... Turn everything up a little bit. It, seemed, it just seemed, it all seems pretty low to me. But... That should be a little bit better. Also, if uh, anyone is watching this on YouTube and wants, let me know down in the description if you would like gameplay without um, audio. So without me talking. Would you like just like ASMR lawnmower sim gameplay? If you would, I will absolutely do that. That is no problem. And I would even I would even record that just separately from stream just for YouTube. So if that is something that you might be a little bit interested in or you would think would be nice, um, just comment down below. Let me know uh, if that's something you would enjoy or prefer, honestly, because I, I do end up watching some of the simulator games and everything like that. And I do end up drifting a little more towards the... Um, no, like no audio or no microphone ones when I'm going to sleep at night. It's either that or I listen to uh, people <laughs> using hand saws. I don't know why. Just like a hand saw cutting wood. It's just a soothing sound to me. If you have any preferences on uh what to listen to for ASMR, maybe when you're trying to go to sleep or anything of that nature, let me know. So 
some people I have noticed really like the um, sound of like the pitter patter of rain on tin roofs. And that, uh, I can also see that, that I've lived in a few houses with tin roofs and, and they do sound pretty interesting. They sound pretty nice. I, um, when I was younger, there was a, there was a little bit of a rough patch and I, um, I was sleeping in a shed and it was just one of those like metal sheds, like the, the cheap ones that you can buy from Lowe's for like a hundred bucks, 200 bucks. And then you just set it together and it never comes with half the screws that you need and I, uh, I used to listen to the rain and it would help like me fall asleep it would also be nice and like cool during those times it wouldn't be too hot it'd be it'd be nice and cool so I'd sleep really well but that was was when I was a little, a little bit younger. Uh, I was quite a bit younger than what I am now. And don't get me wrong, that wasn't a bad time. I'm not saying it was a bad time. It wasn't. It was, it was a pretty decent time. It was a very interesting time in my life. Definitely character building and all that good stuff. You know how it is. I see a strip right here that just didn't get mowed. Either, how did I... How am I missing this strip? Am I overestimating how big the blades are? I must be. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just go through this edge right here. As close as possible. There we go. We'll just we'll just do that just as a precaution to make sure that we're we're in the right spot. I must be overestimating how big the cut radius is. Tiff. Hey, Fran. Hey, bestie. I was actually just watching um, Get Baked. I was sitting here thinking about what I was going to have for dinner, and I couldn't think of anything. So I was watching Pizza Stream. How have you been? How are everyone is English? How is everyone? I was just sitting here chit-chatting to myself. You can ignore the uh, mindless talking. Ooh. The whole house has been sick. I, yeah, I can understand that. Seems like everyone overnight just got COVID or got sick in general. I'm exhausted. I can I can feel that. Um, today was actually my first day off in, I want to say three weeks roughly, because I was between working both jobs and then um, school. I I literally have not had a single day off. But I'm off today. I work tomorrow, and the next day. And then I'm off again, so. Why can I not? There you go. It's the first few weeks of school for our Otis, so the little kiddo's germs are conjoining. Yes, I can, I, I can understand that. I, um, I have a buddy at work, and he has, his son just started the first grade, and he was, like, crying at work, because he's an emotional father. And uh, we were joking around that in the first, like, three to four weeks of school, kids just come home with, like, some kind of disease, and it just never goes away. And throughout the school year, it just reemerges, kind of like herpes. Relax and slay. I didn't get out of bed. I woke up at 8. I didn't move until 11. I just laid there. And stared at the ceiling and at my phone for like three hours. It was the laziest thing I think I've done in a long time. It's terrible. Hundred and two. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope 
I hope she feels better, and I hope everyone. I hope everyone feels better. I'm sure it's really got to suck if you're, because I don't. I'm assuming you're not like going to work because you, you know, don't want to handle stuff when you're sick. And I'm sure that's got to be like really difficult. Or if you are, you're at least hopefully being safe using face mask and gloves and all that stuff. Or just do nothing. Yeah, it was it was nice, but I also felt like I woke up and I'm hoping that like I just feel like shit because I haven't taken any time off. But, like, my sinuses feel a little shitty. And I'm hoping to God that I, I'm not sick again. Because if I am, that's just really, really gonna suck ass. Golden! Spongebob looks weird. Fuck. Thank you, Golden. I appreciate it, my friend. You are truly a man of the people. I've been playing a lot of Spongebob. Uh, let's go with grass. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Did it? Did, is it fixed now? How's stream going? It just started. Um, it didn't fix itself. No, not spins, bab. I've been having a problem with Twitch all day. Like, even just watching things and all that good stuff. It's not letting me change it. Why are you not... I haven't been able to use channel points or change. Yeah, it's not letting me change it. Okay, that, I've tried three different ways and it's not working. I don't know how to. I'm not tech savvy enough to fix that, but thank you, Blade. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me know that. Um, I've been working usually mornings, but stay away from everyone. Barely been on cam. Yeah, I, I've been tuning in and haven't really seen anyone. Uh, yeah, being sick. Got to me badly. I'm gonna take care of a six year old and ten month old, They're both sick, almost miserable. So, so SpongeBob, I had a 13 hour stream yesterday and got really buggy at the 11th hour. I think it's just, um. I think it's just because I use Opera and anytime I shut off my computer, it doesn't like fully shut it down. So as soon as I load my computer back up, it loads Opera with all my tabs back open because I'm just lazy as shit, honestly. I, I never feel like reopening or looking stuff up again, so I just leave. I don't leave 10 to 15 tabs open. Don't get me wrong. I leave like four tabs open max. We can just pretend it's SpongeBob. Yeah, we can do that. I was going to play... A monster dating sim but I decided not to because I feel like I, I should finish one of the two games I've already started before I start playing a third game mod should be able to change it make tiff a mod I could I absolutely could make tiff or you a mod without a doubt It was a toss up between playing um see now you're making it more difficult. How do I mod? There we go. Is it even gonna gonna work? Unable to add mod. Yeah. It, 
Oh man, Twitch, you are you are a mystical being of which your fuckery is pissing me off. I think I might be sick, and it, it, I think I'm getting more mad at the thought that I'm sick than anything else. Because when I get sick, I don't get tired, and I don't really get hungry. And I also wake up, like, extremely early for no reason, and I woke up at 8 when I haven't even been getting out of bed till like, or waking up normally till 11. And I know who gave it to me, and they just left the state, so I can't beat them up. I started playing Stray, and oh my god, it's so fun. You're a weird, sick person. What do you mean I'm a weird, sick person? I just lose sleep and lose my appetite. And then become a frail Victorian child. Are you kidding me? No, I, I am. I'm the classic... Like, when you think of men being big babies when they're sick i am that man i 150 percent am but i will not go to the doctor i will face my demons like there are spartans and will fight to the death before i go to the doctor i sleep all the time that would be great if i could sleep i tried going back to sleep and i could not for the life of me But, I mean, considering my second job is working concert venues and I have to, like, touch and deal with people all night, there is a significant chance that I did get sick from that. But there is one common denominator in that I sleep next to this person every night for the most part unless, like, shifts just don't work out and I'm either still at work when they get up or whatever it ends up being. And they were sick, and I gave it to them, and I think they gave it back to me. A raw dog life without medication. I I took some um. I I get in trouble because there's only one medicine that I will take when I get sick, and that's Tylenol, cold and flu. Because it's the only thing that has ever helped me with my sinus infections. Other than that, I will take Motrin and die. It's, it's the most you're going to get out of me. I am horrible. Mucinex is great. I've never taken it. Because when I take the Tylenol cold and flu, it works for everything. Like, it... it helps get me up it gets me going so i don't have to like i don't get drowsy um i try not to drive when i take it because there is like a a little bit of lightheadedness other than that um for the most part it's it's just the best thing and i never take nyquil because anytime I've ever taken NyQuil, I'll fall asleep and then I won't get up till like two days later. They will ask for your ID? Maybe where you are. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I mean, I wouldn't mind it just like continuously draining out of my face especially when I get sinus infections because it is absolutely horrible oh night bite hello I'm glad you decided to make an appearance oh if you guys haven't I, I do have a discord I very rarely actually go in there because I'm just too busy I usually sit around in other people's discords but if you want to join you're more than welcome I am planning on doing a charity soap stream, if anyone is interested in that. Uh, I will be making soap live on stream. I plan to make some soap before we actually do the stream, so that way you guys can see 
what like cutting the soap and packaging the soap looks like and then once i make that soap i will probably try to stream me cutting it a couple days later once i do that i will be giving it out to um there is a food bank near me and i have reached out to them they said that they will take it and they will give it out to families in need and there are also several single mothers that I know of in my area that could definitely use some help. Um, and soap does get expensive, and this is all natural, is like well as natural as you can possibly get, and um, organic, sustainably sourced the whole night. How does one make soap? It it depends. There are many, many, many ways of making it. I use a process called cold processing or cold process soap. I take oil. So I use palm, coconut, and olive oil. Those are the oils that I use. And then I mix those three together with lye, which is a naturally reoccurring substance. I believe it's naturally recurring. <laughs> And you mix that together, you emulsify it, and it starts a process called saponification. Once that process starts, the temperature of the soap will heat, and it will go into something called a gel phase. Once it goes into the gel phase, then you have... At that point, you do have soap, but it is not stable or usable. So you just leave it for roughly 8 to 24 hours... Once it leaves the gel phase, it solidifies, and you have soap. You can make it out of seashells, I believe, but um, the way that I do it, I can make it out of animal fat um, and stuff like that, so, and, you know, any type of fat. Oop, I didn't mean to cut my blades back on. I want to eat soap. Now, you could eat it, the one that I make, but it is not healthy for you. Of course, it'll clean you out. Probably make you sick. <laughs> but I, um, I could make it. I've been asked by people if I could make it with, like, goose fat. There are a couple people in my area that, like, hunt and stuff, and they don't like using what we call big box soap which is like old spice um uh dove and stuff like that because that's mostly chemicals so yeah um no no yeah yeah the um the lie is the only technically the only chemical that goes into it but i do add other stuff to help so i have a few friends that handle chemicals throughout the day and that do like automotive work so for them i add um activated charcoal which will help with like a grit factor to help get the um exfoliate the skin and just get rid of any excess chemicals and nasty stuff on their hands. I also have kaolin clay, which is an exfoliant. Um, it comes from Australia, I believe. And it helps to open and cleanse the pores. I plan to use matcha, which is green tea. Like green tea leaf, leaf powder, I believe. I don't know. I know it's green tea. And um, that will add a detoxifying factor to it. And I heard it also helps with softening the skin. And promoting good skin health by adding some nutrients and all that good stuff. But it is extremely easy to make soap. It's just a... Uh, all in all, I think you're actually moving and doing things for 15 to 20 minutes. And then it's just a waiting game. 
that's it. And I can I can make up to 28 bars of soap at one time. I have two molds and they both make roughly 14 bars and four hand soaps. So four mini soaps. Because the end piece I usually cut up into small pieces that I hand out as samples. Or just leave at random places. Or chuck them at people. I have done that. If someone's being annoying, I chuck soap at them. <laughs> That's about it. So yeah, if you guys want to, I will post in the Discord the day that I will be doing that. So far, it looks like it's going to be the 8th, the 28th, I believe. But Hurricane Ophelia is is putting a damper on that right now. So I will update in the Discord exactly when we're going to do it. And I might even put in there a little post about what scent we're going to do it as. I have six different scents. They're all fall themed. So, yeah, I, I'm trying to make it as like community based as possible. Yeah, it was just so bad here, and it's been raining all day, and the dogs hate getting their paws wet, so they've just, like, gone outside and refused to get off the porch. I fell on my back deck, and it was extremely loud. Well, I'm glad no one was hurt, at least. I'm glad the puppy was safe and sound. And the family is okay. And Golden, I know you are closer to the coast. You're also in North Carolina. Like me and Tiff. But you're you're much closer to the coast, so I hope you're safe and well. And you have the foods and all the good stuffs. Hurricane party? I am absolutely down. That is a Florida actually golden. So here's the thing, everyone in here right now, me, Tiff, Golden, all of us live in North Carolina, but we all also lived in Florida. And I know Tiff knows the Clearwater area, and Golden, I believe you also know the Clearwater and Dunedin area. And I don't know why it took me to sit here and think about that all the way until now. Yes. So everyone here has probably been a part of a Floridian hurricane party. I know I have. Small internet world. Yeah, and I met... Well, Tiff, I met you because I was just surfing at 3 a.m. on Twitch, which is never a good idea. But I'm glad I found you. And then Golden, I met you through a gang of Canadians. I met you in Envy stream, if I remember correctly. All these Canadians just infecting, infecting us. Yeah, Envy, yeah, good stream. Um, but my streams will be more consistent. I, I can say that because my three weeks of non-stop working, because I, I had not really taken a day off. Even when I was sick, I still went to work. Um, so my three weeks of not taking days off is over. Next month, I'm cutting back a lot. So... For a couple reasons, I, I fell behind too much on my schoolwork for me to be comfortable. Ooh, I'm drunk driving now. Good lord, just missed that entire patch. So I will hopefully be able to see you guys more, and we'll be trying to find some community games that we can play. I 
I do have Jackbox. I don't know if anyone else has Jackbox, but I have it. Um, every time I tried playing it before, it just kind of, it was disastrous. People would come in and, you know, troll and write inappropriate and racist things. You know how that, that goes, trying to be a small streamer and not have the friends to play games and take spots. Yeah. Never played it. Uh, it's a fun game. It's really nice to play with um, the people you enjoy. Uh, you need to require Twitch. You can... Oh! See, when I had started playing that, I don't think that was an option. Or if it was, I did not know about it. But that was like over a year ago. Way over a year ago. I want to say it was probably closer to two years ago. Alright. So we're halfway done with our battery and we are done with this lawn. Just get this little piece left. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we can do, definitely do that. Um, also, the monster party or Monster Prom game that I was talking about, the dating sim. That game also is kind of a community game because you guys can pick the options for the dates and stuff, who we, we end up trying to take to the party. I'm hoping... You're uh, hoping your George and tall white socks on... <laughs> how the lawn works looks yes absolutely the jorts are extremely high and tight i have i don't have the plumbers crack right, we're just gonna go ahead and full repair everything even if we don't really need to it does not hurt full repair, full repair. Empty everything. There we go. Alright. 